My name is Josh, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Glyphic Biotechnologies, where we are developing a next-generation protein sequencing platform with applications in global health and biodefense. Proteomics, the study of proteins and the composition of all the different proteins that can be found in the body, is a hugely important area and has numerous potential. Imagine if we could uncover the host response to multifactorial diseases, such as infect infectious pathogens, detect biological toxin and infectious disease threats at their outset, engineer medical countermeasurements ultra rapidly, and diagnose diseases with a universal platform anywhere, perhaps even from space. These are all things that proteomics promises to be able to do. But today, researchers who want to do these things reliant on the tools of today are ill-equipped to solve these problems. And that's because today's tools in proteomics, the decades old tools of mass spectrometry and immunoassays, these have fundamental limitations. Generally, they cannot decipher the whole proteomes of both human and non-human organisms such as pathogens. They cannot characterize protein function or detect low abundant rare proteins, which may be some of the most important proteins to understanding uh, pathogenism or or diseases in your samples. Today's tools do not provide the sequence of amino acids, which is hugely important in today where, for example, in biopharma, the largest class of drugs are biologics, such as antibodies, which have variable amino acid sequences. And so to develop them, you need to understand the sequence rather than just identifying that an antibody is present. And today's tools for diagnosing diseases rely on one test per one biomarker in today's platforms, which is not scalable when there are hundreds and thousands of biomarkers that can be used to detect all the different types of diseases. And so we've proposed to use threat agnostic protein sequencing to overcome all of these limitations and provide a solution that will be transformational for biodefense. Our platform will detect all 20 amino acids as well as post-translational modifications, unlocking protein characterization beyond just identifying the protein and going to true sequence characterization. It is a single molecule sensitivity system, essentially providing digital quantification of proteins, bringing proteomics out of the analog era and into the digital age. With a massively parallel high throughput system, providing hundreds of millions of reads, ensuring the broadest dynamic range for detection of proteins in your samples. And as a sequence-based platform, it'll be an unbiased discovery platform enabling detection of proteins that have never been seen before, such as novel pathogens and emergent threats. And last, it will be compatible with existing workflows that people use typically in the lab today, ensuring compatibility with all sample types um, commonly used in both research and clinical testing. And so Glyphic will deliver on the promise of next-generation protein sequencing for biodefense and national security applications by first delivering on the platform itself, which will be the first only truly de novo sequencing platform capable of sequencing hundreds of millions of peptides for all 20 amino acids and post-translational modifications. And then we will use this platform for biodefense applications for both biological toxin detection and prediction based on single molecule sequence analysis, as well as for infectious disease diagnostics, enabling ultra-sensitive diagnostics based on the sequences of both known and unknown pathogens and threats. How our technology works is our novel chemistry, which we have now three issued or allowed US patents and across nine patent families. Our solution is that we iteratively identify the last amino acid on the end of the protein chain, thus enabling us to determine for the millions, the billions of proteins simultaneously, what amino acid is at each segment of the cycle. And so how this works is shown here, where in the top left, here is our flow cell. And to this flow cell, we attach the proteins from your sample onto the flow cell at one end of the protein, the C terminus. If we zoom in to a single protein for the purposes of the depiction, here you can see protein chain attached to the surface. We've developed a novel chemistry, click P, that has multiple functions. This click B chemical first reacts with this N-terminal amino acid at the other end of the protein, forming a click P amino acid conjugate. This then can tether over onto the surface. So now the protein is attached to both the N-terminus via the click P linker 
as well as at the C terminus. And then by changing the buffer conditions, we can cause that last amino acid to be cleaved off from the rest of the surface or from the rest of the protein, thus no longer attached to the protein and no longer impacted by adjacent amino acids interfering with the binding or the tertiary structure of the protein interfering. That last amino acid is now by itself tethered onto the surface at a nearby location. And then we can flow over 20 specific antibodies against each of the 20 amino acids to come in and conclusively identify what amino acid was just removed. And so you can imagine then if you remove this amino acid off the surface, cleaning the flow cell, you can iterate throughout this process repeatedly, removing one amino acid at a time off the end of the protein and then detecting it with, the, with another antibody. And so this enables us to do protein sequencing for hundreds of millions of proteins uh, simultaneously on the surface. And so one application that we are looking at in the space of biodefense is the use of this platform for novel biological toxin detection and prediction. Today's methods for detecting toxins do not rule out the presence of toxins and are not scalable to the hundreds or even thousands of toxins that are possible that are based on peptides or proteins. Today, if you have a biological specimen or sample that you want to test for a toxin, generally you will use an immunoassay such as an ELISA or a lateral flow assay, and you would need to use one specific test per type of toxin you're looking at. So one test for anthrax, one test for Shiga toxin, one test for Botox, and so on. And so while these tests can roll in or out the specific toxins that you test, you cannot rule out the presence of toxins you have not specifically tested for. And so this approach that is used today and these antibody-based methods are not scalable compared to the vast repertoire of toxins that are already known and are emerging. Our platform would enable universal detection of these lethal biotoxins. By taking the sample and running it through our protein sequencer, you can immediately determine all of the possible proteins in the sample and have the sequences for all of those proteins. You can then match the sequences back to a database of known toxins or any known proteins to determine what, what are the identities of the proteins in your sample. And even for unknown toxins, you can use homology matching to then determine whether a protein is likely to have toxin-like properties. And so this protein sequencing approach uh, is inherently scalable to the entire repertoire of toxins, both existing and new, um, enabling single pot detection, single assay run detection of all possible biological toxins and threats. You can imagine that this platform can be extended to be used for detection of infectious disease threats as well, detecting the proteins that mediate pathogenicity and infectivity of various threats. Uh, unlike with DNA sequencing, which is used today, DNA sequencing cannot tell you the functional impact of mutations. In fact, most DNA mutations uh, have no impact or are del deleterious to the pathogen itself versus pathogens that have a mutation that positively impacts its virulence or infectivity will have a survival fitness and thus be able to be detected on our platform because uh, there will be more, th that pathogen will be able to produce more proteins and thus we can detect the mutations that specifically increase the virulence of the viruses or the pathogens, and thus we can use this to then also predict the trajectory of epidemic or pandemic pathogens. We have a strong IP position for being a fairly young company. We were founded in 2021, and since then, we have now had three issued or allowed U.S. patents across nine U.S. with and nine U.S. patent applications. These are across nine patent families, the 21 global slash total patent filings protecting the innovations around our antibodies, chemistry, and assay development approach, as well as applications of use, such as in medical countermeasure development and biological toxin threat detection. Our main business model will focus on selling these sequencers, um, as well as associated consumables that need to be used every time you run the machine, similar to existing DNA sequencers today. Uh, this will operate on the razor razor blade model, and we will target initially academia, core facilities, and other types of researchers interested in using this novel platform for protein detection and sequencing. 
In the future, we would like to use this platform for both diagnostics as well as therapeutics development, as mentioned. These will operate on a different type of model, including external partnership models with upfront payments, royalties, and milestone payments, as well as a clinical diagnostics lab model where we will seek to place the instrument into central laboratories to be used for the detection of various infectious disease pathogens and other types of diseases where proteins can be used as a diagnostic medium for enhanced sensitivity and specificity. Our team is led by a team of experienced individuals. I myself was a previous co-founder of Nefersant, a diagnostics company for transplant rejection in kidneys that previously secured Medicare reimbursement coverage in the US. My co-founder and our CTO, Daniel Standian, invented this technology while at MIT in the lab of Ed Boyden, who is a professor in neurotechnology and HHMI investigator, previously known for inventing tools such as optogenetics and expansion microscopy, and is an inventor on over 500 patents. We recently brought on a senior VP of product development, previously at Illumina, where she developed the architecture for the NovaSeq platform, their most advanced DNA sequencer, and most recently led a team of 30 engineers to design and build a DNA sequencer that has since launched uh, in the IVD space. So uh, we would like you to help us create a world where we can use proteomics to solve many of the issues in global health and biodefense. To do this, we are raising a 15 million Series A round to launch early access for this protein sequencing platform. We would like to, and our lead from the seed round, Omics VC, they were the earliest investors in companies such as 10X Genomics and Twist Bioscience. They are willing to co-lead this round. So now we are looking for other investors who would be interested in joining us to help revolutionize proteomics for both global health and biodefense. Thank you for your time, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you all might have.